So this is the eighth sample program in uh, Unit 4A arrays. And uh, what we're going to do in this example is implement some basic sorting and searching algorithms. So just to, to set this up, um, you'll notice uh, I've started off by uh, including my own MyArray templates uh, header file. And uh, I'm also using a namespace that I've created in that header file. If I uh, open up that header file right now, um, you can see how I've set it up. It's very similar to uh, how I set up uh, the header file in the, in the last unit. Um, in the namespace MyArray templates, I've actually got four templates. Uh, one of them is called linear search. Okay, so searching for a key value um, in an array called source list. Uh, binary search, okay, which is just again, same sort of idea, but uses a different algorithm for actually finding uh, the position. Selection sort for sorting an array of values. Okay, and bubble sort. Okay, so those are the four algorithms I've actually implemented in my array templates. And we'll go back and, and actually look at that code uh, in a second. Back in my CPP file, I have created one other template that's not really all that reusable, but it's going to be handy for me for this example. And uh, that's a template which will um, display the contents of an array. Um, so the first parameter is an array of whatever type. Uh, the second parameter is the uh, size of the array. And the third parameter is when I'm actually outputting the individual elements, what field width I want to output it in. Okay, so if I scroll down, I can have a look at that very simple little template. I don't even have any comments. That's not very good. But at uh, any rate, um, I pass in the array. It picks up whatever data type it is, the size, the width, outputs a new line, goes through a for loop okay, that traverses the entire array, and each time it outputs the element of the array at that particular width. And then it ends up with an, another a new line. In main, what I do is I uh, declare an array. I've decided to use an array of characters simply because we haven't looked at one before. Okay, so I've defined size as being 10, and here's an array with uh, 10 characters in it. Okay, and they're just uh, arbitrary random characters, if you will, um, and they're not sorted. Output a little bit of header, and then I just simply display the uh, letters array as it was initialized. So let's run that. Okay, so we're not implementing any searching or sorting or anything yet, uh, but we can see basically what the program does at this point. So the first of these algorithms I'd like to look at is the linear search. So the linear search uh, algorithm is probably the, the simplest algorithm I could think of, um, and it's used for uh, trying to find a, a value in an array. Okay, so uh, this is our array. It's, uh, it's not sorted. The linear search doesn't require the array to be sorted. And uh, the key value that we're looking for happens to be 2. So the way the linear search works is we're going to move through the array from, from left to right, from beginning to end, if you will. And we're going to stop uh, looking once we've actually found the key value or we've hit the end of the array. Okay, so uh, basically it uh, compares... Uh, the key value to the uh, to the first element, three. Nope, that's not it. Um, compares it to the five. That's not it. Compares it to the one. That's not it. Compares it to the six. That's not it. Compares it to the two. Found it. Okay, so we know that the uh, key value here is located in uh, uh, element number four. Okay. So our array in our program is not uh, uh, integers from 1 to 6. It's uh, a bunch of random characters. But the algorithm is basically the same. So let's have a look at the uh, code at this point. OK, so we'll scroll to where we have linear search. And I'll just expand the code out a little bit. And we'll just explain it. So it's a template, meaning that it, uh, it will work for various different types of arrays. OK, it returns an integer. It's going to be the index where it actually finds the um, uh, finds the uh, key value. Okay. Now, if it doesn't find the key value, it's going to return negative one. So I create my variable found at index, and I set it to negative one as a default. Okay. So if it doesn't find it, this is what it's going to end up returning. 
it goes through the loop uh, as we talked about in the uh, um, in the in the slides there it starts off the index at zero and as long as it hasn't found it or still hasn't found it that's what found index equals equals minus one indicates and the index is still less than the size it's going to continue looping it's going to compare the array at position index to the key value that we're looking for if it's found it it's going to set found at index to the current index that we're on and then go back up to the top now if it did actually find it this would cause the loop to end otherwise it would just continue until it either found it or until index um, hits size and then one way or the other it's going to return uh, whatever that uh, found at index contains so let's try that out I've created an integer called index found and I've made it equal to whatever the linear search um, uh, function will return I'm passing it letters which is my character array so the template will pick up that it's characters size which is 10 and key um, oh, a key I have to actually define. We'll better do that. So key I've defined as F. Okay. So it's going to uh, go ahead and, and do that. Um, if the index found is greater than or equal to zero, then I report that it's actually found the key at that position. Otherwise, I report that the uh, uh, linear search couldn't find the key. Okay. So we'll try running that. So we can see here that linear search did in fact find an F. It was at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, position number 6. If I change the key to, uh, say, uh, uh, Z, which I don't think is in there. I'll just uh, quickly look. Yeah, I don't think it's in there. And run it again. We can see that it reports that linear search could not find Z. So the next thing we'll test is the bubble sort. I'll just comment out the linear search and we'll talk a little bit about how the bubble sort works.